tale of the name of the tree. A Bantu story from Africa. Across the hot, dusty savanna walked an elephant. Following the elephant came giraffes, their long necks waving in the hot, dry air. Following them came wildebeest in great herds, antelopes, lions, hyenas, monkeys, all the animals of the savanna. But they were all terribly hungry, and they were all terribly thirsty, for it had not rained in months. When, to in front of all those animals, there ran a monkey who no one knew, who said, wait! And all the animals stopped in a cloud of dust. I know where there is a tree, ha <laughs> said the monkey, a magical tree, and at the top of the magical tree grow magical fruits, and all you've got to do to get the fruits to fall is speak the name of the tree. <laughs> magical tree, magical fruits, and the monkey ran off. Well, the animals were hungry and thirsty, and so they called to him, monkey, 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 monkey. And the monkey came running back. Bada, 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 what? Well, the elephant looked down and said, oh, uh, monkey, please take us to the magical tree. We're hungry, we're thirsty. And the monkey said, oh, <laughs> this way. And off he ran again. But this time the animals followed him across the savanna until they came to the side of a great mountain. And there, growing up into the sky, taller than any of the animals could climb, was a great tree. And in its branches the animals saw giant fruits filled with water and filled with food. Monkey, 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 asked the animals. What about, about, about what? Well, the elephant looked down and said, uh, monkey, please speak the name of the tree so the fruits will fall. Well, the monkey looked at all of the animals and he laughed. <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> and he ran around in a circle. And the animals asked, what, what, why did you bring us here? And the monkey replied, no, 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 no. Over the mountain and down the other side lives a chief. The chief knows the name of this tree. Go ask him. And the monkey was gone for good. Well, the animals realized someone had to go over the mountain and down the other side to bring back the name of the magical tree. And so up stood the kudu. Now, a kudu is a tall, antelope-like creature with long, spiraling horns. And she said, Will, I'm fast. I'll go. And she turned and... She galloped out across the savannah to the very top of the mountain and... There she found a great palace made of grass. She trotted into it. Seated on his throne was indeed a mighty chief. And the kudu asked, Ah, oh, chief, what's the name of the magical tree? You know, the one on the other side of the mountain. Well, the chief looked at her and said, Oh, the name of that tree is Owungelema. Owungelema? Thank you. And she turned and she galloped out. To the very top of the mountain she ran and down the other side. But as she was stepping through the big rocks that sat at the bottom of the mountain, the kudu heard something. There beneath a little ledge of rock, she saw a puddle of water. She was so thirsty, she put her great snout down there. She licked up all the water, and the kudu lifted her head. But the name, that strange name, oh, she wasn't quite certain of it any longer. And so she went to beneath the tree, and the animal said, Look, 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 it's the kudu! Yes, well, what's the name? Speak the name. Is that it? No, not quite. 
and not a single fruit would fall. The animals looked at her. It didn't work. It didn't work. Well, I tried. Well, someone else go. And all at once, up jumped the zebra, and he shivered his side so that all of his stripes jumped at once. And the zebra, who spoke altogether too fast, said, Well, I'm as fast as she is. Won't take me but a moment. Goodbye. And the zebra turned and... He galloped out across the savannah to the very top of the mountain and down the other side and into the great palace made of grass. And there still sat that chief. The zebra asked, Ah, oh, chief, oh, what's the name of the magical tree? The one on the other side of the mountain. The one with all the water and the food inside the fruits. The chief looked at the fast-talking zebra and said, Oh, the, the name of that tree is Owongelema. Owongelema. Yes, Owongelema. Why, thank you, said the zebra. And he turned and... <laughs> he galloped out. He galloped over the mountain and down the other side. But as he was racing across the tall, dry grass itself, He didn't see a root. It stuck up from the ground underneath an acacia tree, and the zebra caught his hoof on it, and he stumbled. <laughs> no, 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 no! Pam! <laughs> and he picks himself up, and he shook all the dust from his nose. But in the fall to the ground, the name, that strange name, it had been knocked right out the side of his head. Well, he went to beneath the tree, by now the animals were twice as hungry and twice as thirsty. And they saw him and they said, Oh, look. Oh, it's the zebra. Do you know the name? He looked up. Ah. <laughs> ah, Katam Valema. Was that it? No, not quite. And not a single fruit would fall. The animals looked at him. It didn't work. It didn't work. Well, I tried. Will someone else go? And all at once, up stood the lion. And all the animals.